Hey guys, so I have so much stuff to talk about before I even get into this video. First of all, I want to say hi and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, I can't even believe this, but my Canadian love, Este, Essie Button, who I mention constantly on this channel, uh, mentioned me in one of her videos and like within hours I was getting all these new subscribers. Um, every couple minutes I was getting a new subscriber and I kind of figured it was from her, um, but then I went and watched her latest video, which I'm going to link below, obviously. Um, and I saw that she mentioned me, and thank you guys so much who actually listened to her and checked out my channel and subscribed. Welcome! I'm so excited to have a bigger audience. Um, please leave me a comment, I love interacting with you guys. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see from me, definitely leave it below. Um, so thank you so much, Este. We're like Canadian sisters, the maple syrup runs through both of our veins. Um, so definitely if you are not subscribed to her and you're subscribed to me, head on over to her channel, pause this video, subscribe to her, and then come back. Second of all, I dyed my hair. I don't know how the camera's gonna show that, if you can even tell. It's like a red auburn color. Um, I did it with box dye, which I haven't done since high school, but it turned out okay. Um, I like it. We'll see how long it lasts because red never really lasts that long, but I really just wanted a change. Third thing is I am doing, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a favorites video and I've never done a monthly favorites video because I do not like to be tied down. If you know me, I have commitment issues. I don't like knowing that I have to put up a certain video every month around a certain time. I just cannot handle that pressure. Um, but you know what? It's time to branch out. Um, and I actually have some significant favorites that I actually do want to share um, because a lot of the people in my real life don't give a crap that I use the same blush every day nor do they notice so that's why I make these videos because I like that I have people that I talk to that actually know what I'm talking about so anyways I'm gonna jump in because um, there's quite a few and I tend to ramble the first thing is the Marcel BB cream which I mentioned in my last video um, in my last video I mentioned I had the shade light medium, but I ended up actually exchanging it from medium to dark because I just found that the light medium was just too light for me. It was almost making me look washed out and like kind of sick. This one's actually pretty perfect. Um, it's like borderline just good enough, so if I did get any lighter it might look a little weird. This stuff is great. It applies really easy. It lasts all day. I do find that it mattifies my skin. I'm using... I'm getting a lot less oily in the day, um, so yeah, this stuff is great. I picked up mine from Rexall, and they also have it at Shoppers. It's a little pricey. In Canada, it, it, I think you can only get this in Canada. Um, it's $22.50, but I really do like it a lot. My next favorite is um, Kate Walsh Boyfriend Perfume. I actually purchased this this month, um, and I just love this stuff. Uh, I was actually at a friend's birthday party on the weekend and we were at a nightclub and do people call them nightclubs anymore? Probably not. That just like made me sound so old. We were at a club dancing as young people tend to do um, so I'm told <laughs> and um, actually a guy was standing near me at the bar and he leaned over and he's like you smell so good and I was like dang this perfume if you need a boyfriend it is called boyfriend go to Sephora and pick it up. It's it's great. I'm actually kind of concerned because I have used a fair amount. I haven't had it that long, but to die for. Um, my next favorite is what I'm wearing right now. I've had this for a while and it's actually taken me a while to actually start wearing it. It is um, the Revlon Lip Butter in Cherry Tart. I highly doubt anyone mentions these in their favorites anymore. This is what it looks like. These are great to get now because I find in most places they're a lot cheaper than they used to be. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing it right now. It lasts a long time. It's very wearable. Um, it feels like a chapstick to me, which is why I like it. And I find the color very, very flattering for a red. I have a hard time wearing reds. I find if they're too orange, they look not good on me. Um, next favorite is what is on my nails right now. It is the um, China Glaze color in Fast Track. And this is one of the Hunger Games collection nail colors. I mentioned this a few hauls back in my Sally's haul. Um, I really like this color. I find it's just a really nice neutral 
and it lasts a long time like I've had this on for a week it's it's chipping but it's not bad so I absolutely love this color uh, next favorite Liz is gonna laugh at me um my friend Liz told me to get this blush it's the Tarte Amazonian clay blush and exposed and she's been telling me to get this blush forever forever and I got it last month or the month before I've had it for probably about a I'd say a month and a half to two months now um, and she's been telling me forever to get it and finally I was like you know what if it'll shut you up I'm just gonna get the blush and I wear it basically every day I'm not wearing it today so this is the first time I haven't worn it I think since I've got it um, but this is kind of what it looks like I don't know if, if the camera will pick that up but it's almost like it's almost like you could use it for contouring as well I find it has like that bronze kind of just universally flattering blush like to me when I put it on it looks like a natural flush um, and I think this I don't know if it will last 12 hours but I find this looks the same when I put it on in the morning as until when I take it off at night so I'm really really impressed with this I love the packaging um, yeah I think you get I like the shape of the product I like that you can easily fit your brush in there um, so I absolutely love these and I would definitely purchase another one in a different shade. I'm just not sure which one yet. Our last favorite are these shoes. Um, these I got at Susie Shear, which is a Canadian store and they were $25. And I bought them because I needed a neutral, not black heel to wear with a dress that I had. And these are the most comfortable heels I have ever bought in my entire life. And I have some heels that are around like $100, $120. These are so comfortable and they were $25. I can tell they're probably not going to last um, a long time. Like I can actually kind of see the glue. I don't know if you can see that. Like the glue kind of separating there. But like my goodness, I could, I danced in these until like 3 in the morning. I've worn them to work. They're easy to walk in. They're super comfortable. If you live in Canada and you um, have a Suzy Shearer near you, I highly recommend these shoes. And they're just really nice. I really like the little peep toe um, and just like the little detailing on them. So, love these. Um, so, that's it for beauty favorites. Um, I kind of wanted to do like other fun favorites. So, I'm going to mention my favorite book. And it's a book that I actually just finished up. Um, towards the end of the month and it's The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and I'm actually going to start doing a little series um, where I talk about books that I've read and kind of just like review them. It's going to be like really short video since this is primarily a beauty channel but um, I've had a couple people ask me to do kind of like that kind of series. Um, so yeah, this book is by John Green who is part of the Vlogbrothers on YouTube. This is a phenomenal book and that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm going to do another video on it which will probably go up after this. Um, favorite movie for this month is 21 Jump Street. I saw it last week and it's one of the funniest movies I have seen in a long, long time. And I could stare at Channing Tatum for days, months, like that man, he's got a good body. Um, and Jonah Hill is so funny. Even though he's like skinny now, he is still super funny. Um, it was just a really great movie. If you like comedies, as I assume most people do, I would definitely recommend seeing it. So those are my March favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you Essie Button um, for giving me that shout out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.